Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get any biped animation into Unreal Engine and any means any, especially the ones without skeletal mesh attached to it, the ones which you get from Rococo and other such uh, mocap uh, softwares. So let's get started. First you need Blender, the free and really helpful software for your 3D needs even though you prefer Unreal. In the default scene, select your camera and light and get rid of them because you don't need excess baggage. Remember, only one baggage allowed in the economy section. File, import FBX. I won't show you the folders but just import whatever animation you want to use later in Unreal Engine. So as you can see, I have this animation here. If I hide the cube for now, and if I play it, you can see that there's some animation going on, right? So show the cube. What you need to do is select the cube, shift select the skeleton, control P and parent it with automatic weights. That's it. So now when you play it, it's going to be hideous, but everyone has a bit of darkness in them, right? File, export, FPX. Don't change anything here. Rename it however you want to rename it. I'm going to name it whatever.fpx and I'm going to export fpx. That's all you need to do in Blender. Once you have done that, open Unreal Engine. I have the default scene open with starter content, third person content and a metahuman already added because it takes a lot of time to get them in. I'm going to create a new folder and call it imports. The first thing to do here is to drag and drop the whatever.fpx you just exported from Blender. It tells me what skeleton you want, none, because you are going to create your own skeleton. So you import skeletal mesh, you import mesh, you don't import animations because you are smart and you don't want spaghetti detargeting later, and you do import all. It's going to tell you a lot of stuff which you don't need to worry about at all. Clear that. Now if you open the skeletal mesh, it may look monstrous because there's a lot of stuff in here, but don't worry about it. What you can do to lessen the cognitive load is just to go into character, mesh and hide that. A good thing is that it is already in depots. If it is not, then you need to make sure your target skeleton is in whatever pose this one is. What we need to do now is create an IK rig for that skeleton. So right click, animation, IK rig and you need IK rig for whatever skeleton which you imported. I will name it source IK rig for convenience. I just don't want to see that mesh right now. Add 6 chains in IK retargeting, one for head, one for spine, one for arm L, one for arm R, one for leg L and finally one for leg R. For the head, let's just take the neck and the head completely. Start spine with spine and end with spine too. So that's the spine and that's the head. Whoops, this is going to be tough. What I can do is I won't do head end and just do head. And in that case, yep, that looks good. Arm L is going to be left shoulder to left hand. Is that correct? Yep, the chain looks correct. For arm R, it's going to be right shoulder to right hand. Is that correct? Yep. So you just see the highlight to see the chain you're selecting. Uh, for leg L, it's going to be the left up leg to the left toe base end. Is that correct? Let's just check. Mm, so let's not do left toe base end and let's just do left toe base. That looks better. Same scenario for leg R. Uh, you need to be a bit smart about the chains you're selecting so it, your mileage may vary based on the animation you're using. Before you get out of here, right click on the hips and set retarget route. 
Now that we are done with the source, we need to create a target rig and what better than UE4 mannequin. So right click, animation, icon rig and we use SK mannequin, correct? Yep. And just name it UE4 IK rig. Create six chains again, the same as before. Name them the same. Now for the head. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have a head? Ah, uh, there you go. Start with the neck and end on the head. Check once, good. For the spine, start with spine one and end with spine three. For the arm, start with clavicle L and end with hand L. Repeat the same for arm R. For the leg L, start at thigh L and end at ball L. Rinse and repeat for the other. Before I forget this, right click on pelvis and set as retarget root. So now we have the chains looking nice and correct. Now I can go out and oh wait a minute, I haven't imported the animation yet. So if I create another new folder and call it animations and what I can do is drag and drop the animation file which I actually wanted to use and the one which I used to create the monstrosity in Blender. So it's going to ask what skeleton you need. So whatever skeleton, that's the one I imported. Obviously you need to select yours. Everything else is correct, so import. And if you take a look inside, everything looks about as correct as it can be. Here, go to animation and IK retargeter and it's going to ask you for a source. Source is source IK rig and I'm going to name it test retargeter. Open that. What's the target? UE4 IK rig. That's the one we created. Let's just take him a bit farther to the side. For this character, don't show me the mesh. For this character, let's create a new pose. Call it T pose. You need to edit the pose. Bones are too big for me, so I'll just tastefully scale them. Camera speed is too much, so I'll just get it down to 2. I'll just change the perspective to the right view and make my work easier. And here, I'll adjust the skeleton until it takes the T pose as best as it can. That looks good. So come out of edit and now I have only one animation and clicking it works. Yes, you see it, right? Cool. Now what we can do is go into animations, right click and go to retarget animation assets. Duplicate and retarget animation assets and just call it UE4. Which retargeter to use? Um, the one which you created called test retargeter. Where do you want to save it? Mm, want to go into imports animation and just put it there. Retarget. Open it up and see. 
ah beauty so that's how you do it as simple as that I'm going to show you the same process for a metahuman so I'll create a new IK rig and I'll just use the metahuman default skeletal mesh call it metahuman IK rig now if you remember the drill the, then create six chains name them as before and select the appropriate bones for start and end Don't forget to set the pelvis as retarget root and save. I'm not gonna use that. Right click, animation, IK retargeter, source IK rig. Going to call it test MH retargeter. Target is MH IK rig. Rinse and repeat the process of getting the metahuman into T-Post just like with the mannequin earlier. And now when you test the animation, yes, it works. You follow the same process as earlier to retarget the animation for a metahuman. and find a particularly disturbing metahuman dancing but don't worry it will fit properly to your metahuman when you use it in sequencer let me know in the comments about the topics you would like to see future videos on don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content see you again in the next one have a great day